Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy universe we call YouTube. Today, we're going to um, show you an alternative to the Jackery portable power system. And it's how I've been doing it for literally 25 years. And uh, I know a lot of people love those Jackeries because they're light. You know, they got the lithium battery, but they are expensive. So what I'm about to propose to you is what you can do to get a cheaper alternative version that would kind of perform in the uh, mid-range Jackery. This one um, is a little bit better than the uh, small Jackery, which that one, of course, is the uh, least expensive, but it performs the least. So anywho, what we got here is a Porta Watts power pack. I bought this, you're gonna laugh, 25 years ago. That's why it looks a little worse for wear. But it does have a 12 volt outlet, built-in power regulator for uh, charging, and most importantly, a two outlet receptacle with uh, a power inverter. Now that's rated at 300 watts continuous, 500 watts surge. And I like this inverter for a few reasons. It's actually a modified sine wave inverter but it performs uh, better than most of the modified sine wave um, inverters that you see nowadays which means that a lot of my finicky electronics that won't run on another inverter run on this so what I've been doing for 25 years is just replacing the battery packs that are within them now you're thinking well what if I'm not a handy person well you know you don't have to be a handyman if you can uh, if you can run a screwdriver you can essentially rebuild and reuse and repurpose one of these because I guarantee you 90% of these are sitting in landfills because when the batteries quit working um, people just tend to chuck them but really you just have to replace the battery packs now I've owned quite a few different versions of them uh, up here in Canada because I'm Canadian I've bought in quite a few of the eliminator power boxes I've actually uh, replaced the battery in another one that I have I'll put the link up in the description if you want to see that video that was several years ago but I will tell you there is a problem with those eliminator power boxes a lot of them come with really cheap batteries that are hard to um, replace. You, the, the, typically the terminals are swapped. You can't get a, a, a proper fitting battery very easily, if at all. So what you have to wind up doing is modifying things by um, extending the terminal leads. I'll talk about that a little later. But the beautiful thing about this baby, this Porta Watts, um, I know it was sold all over North America, probably different brand names, but this is a stat power. I believe that's an American company because I remember I had a problem with one inverter and stat power in the 90s at least was pretty good to me uh, I, if I had a problem I would just write them a letter and they'd send me a replacement they, they were really pretty good so don't know much about what stat power is doing lately or I don't even know if they're still in business but I will say that this 90s built unit has been good to me performs flawlessly and like I said, not every five to eight years, depending on how much you use it and what kind of battery you put in it, you're gonna have to just replace the battery pack and it will be perfect. It'll be good as new, essentially. So let's get to it and talk about that. Now I believe I've replaced this battery pack at least three or four times. It's probably the fourth time, at least. And the last battery lasted about 10 years. I've been meaning to replace it about the last year. And now I have bought a Magnavolt. Now originally this stat power inverter only came with an 18 amp hour battery, but nowadays they make a 20 amp hour that fits in the exact same dimensions, which is good. Hey, extra two amps is always good. Now, of course, the now the disadvantage of the replacement batteries is they are sealed lead acid, so they are heavier. A lot heavier than a Jackery, but hey, a lot cheaper. So what you want to do is you want to go head down to your local thrift store or, I don't know, flea markets, and you'll find these old power boxes that don't work anymore or barely work, and you want to pick them up super cheap, just buy a replacement battery, and now you got a brand new unit. 
a lot cheaper and only takes a few minutes of your time to put a new battery in aside from your time to go and buy a new battery. Now, uh, being that I'm in Canada, you know, a lot of taxes, a lot of expenses. I just paid $84 for this 20 amp hour sealed lead acid battery, and that's with the taxes. I'm sure if you shop around, you can probably get a replacement battery in that same range for uh, probably between 40 and 60 US dollars. Now, when you open up the box, you're going to notice that uh, most of the weight is the battery. And obviously, I've removed the battery. There's a little bit of cushioning in there so that the battery doesn't rattle around. But the guts of it are essentially <laughs> a 12-volt socket and um, this little circuit board, which essentially acts as a voltage regulator. I do like the fact that the voltage regulator is built in on this unit because I do have a 15 watt solar panel that I have rigged that I can just plug straight in that I don't need to have a power voltage regulator on the solar panel. I can plug it in directly and the unit will regulate itself and stop charging when the battery is full. So as you can see, there is pretty much nothing to the inside except for a battery. Now, some of these units, because they all are shaped a little differently, the key is to get a replacement battery that the terminals fit the same. You don't want to have the terminal swapped. That is the problem with a lot of the Eliminator MotorMaster um, power packs is they've got this weird proprietary battery that is next to impossible to find a replacement. But all you need to do is find a battery that is the same dimensions or smaller even if the terminals are reversed and cut the terminal wires and extend them with the same gauge wire and lengthen them. That way if you need to swap them and the terminal leads don't reach you're good to go with just extending the battery terminal leads. Pretty simple, wire's pretty cheap, and a lot cheaper than buying a new Jackery. So let's get to it and throw in the new battery. A few moments later. So there we go, the terminals are connected. Just gotta make sure the connections are nice and clean and tight and put it back together. Okay, she's back together. Let's turn it on and test it. Fan is running, power light is on. We're good to go. Simple as that. Best of all, a lot cheaper than a new Jackery. Now I just gotta top up the battery and charge it fully. And they say you can get maybe between three and 500 cycles on them as long as you don't deep discharge them. Or if you do deep discharge them, you wanna charge them up as soon as possible afterwards. So that's it for my old 25 year old stat power inverter power pack. Pretty simple and I like saving money. And why fill up the landfills with tons of these old units that all they need is some new batteries. Pretty much it. So put your comments down below and in the meantime folks stay safe, keep your wheels on the ground. I'll talk to you soon. Over and out.